Hello friend, my name is Marcy and in this video I am going to show you how to make these beautiful pattern papers using just coffee and stuff you have laying around your house. For this video, um, make sure you stay to the end because I have a cute little surprise for you. And as always, my papers are free and available for you to print and use however you like. I'm going to link them below. Let's get started. So for the first one, I just wetted the paper. This is Canson A3 size mixed media paper. It's 120 pounds and I just cut it into four different pieces. Um, for this one, I just wanted to wet the paper because we will be applying some dry instant coffee on top of it. And this way the coffee will just let some color out into the water and it will look really pretty once it's dry. So here this is how I did it. And you can already see that the coffee is just getting loose into that paper because of the water. I will try to show you some close-ups like this um, after each one or whenever I have a chance. <laughs> For the second one, we're just going to apply some already um, diluted coffee on top of it. I have more coffee than water in this mix, so make sure you have the right coffee water ratio um, that you like. I could just have left the paper like this because I make kind of like an A kind of pattern with my um, brush but um, I decided I was gonna add salt to it and some coffee so you can see I already did the salt and now I'm doing some coffee and this is gonna create some white um, spots because the salt will absorb the water and the coffee will let color loose into the paper so it's an interesting combination and I'm darkening the opposite corners just because I felt like it will be a little better this way or cuter and I added more salt to it. Now you can see a little bit here what I meant by the colors. Now you can see um, in this slow down kind of motion the little white speckles and the dark speckles and the nice combination it makes and how the corners have a little bit more salt in it. So. Um, it will absorb the coffee better. Now for this one is just normal little um, piece of mixed media and it was dry coffee already and I just splashed it with water and this is what you get. It reactivates the coffee and it makes white little speckles. Really subtle. This is nice if you want to write on top of this. Now for the next one we just have some leftover mosquito mesh. Um, that didn't work for our windows <laughs> so um, I just sunk it in the coffee and I wanted to get the texture over in the paper so I made some parts a little darker and some other parts not so saturated with the coffee I wanted to see which one will work better and also wanted to have some contrast so you can see me here just applying them whenever they fit and when they don't I just take scissors and cut them and whatever's left over I can use for another project. So after I do this, of course, I get my toothbrush, my old bamboo toothbrush, and I just splatter. I love my splatters. And this just kind of gives some equilibrium to the whole thing, <laughs> if you can call it that. But just put it aside to dry, let it be. Now for this one, make sure the sponge that you use is completely dry before you use it and you wet it just with the coffee. You want it a little bit more on the steep, like stiffer side, so it will make nice prints. And this is just some sea sponge I had left over from where my son was a little teeny tiny baby. Reuse, recycle, right? <laughs> for these, um, you just need to get some hot glue gun and a non-stick mat and make whatever shape you want so that you end up with this stencil. You can make it whatever shape you want. I just had some little leaves in mind and this is what I created. So voila, hot glue gun stencils. 
this is good if you're trying to save some money or don't have stencils or you're kind of like minimalish like me <laughs> the less we have the less we have to manage right that's a minimal mom quote right there if you don't know who she is i also link her um channel below she's amazing now for this one um this is gonna be interesting i was trying to kind of copy what i did with the noodles but this time i used pasta um for the line effect i wanted to have lines here if you don't know what about the noodles i'm talking about um i'll link that video below it's for other pattern paper so for this one i just wetted the page put some coffee underneath to try to get it to stick to my um surface and then place the pasta on top of it the spaghetti and splatter and just left it alone and let it dry this one it's a little bit more interesting i saw this um on pinterest i think it was or it popped in one of my little kids projects um art boards that i had made and it's just making shapes with a fork they were doing it i think it was with chalk paint or with some sort of chalky paint or something like that i don't know i can't really remember i saw it a while ago and i just remember you know it was lunchtime and i had to stop and go have lunch and then come back and i thought about this while i was having lunch so there you go coffee with a fork on top of a paper and this looks really cool hope you give it a try you can also try coins or anything metallic that makes um a shape or it leaves um texture so anyhow just another idea this is one of my favorites to be honest so simple and so cool and me splattering again <laughs> are you tired of my splatters anyhow now for the next one i saw louise louise's channel um she made she mixed some gesso with coffee from her coffee machine and louise hansel i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name um she has a really cool channel with mixed media um stuff in it and really inspiring stuff so if you want to go check her out i'm gonna leave her channel down below um but she you know just gave me this idea i had the gesso i was gessoing some book pages before and i just had it laying around my craft space which is the floor currently and forever i love working in the floor or on the floor <laughs> so i just got some gesso got some coffee mixed it up a little grabbed my brush again and started doing some kind of i wanted to get some sort of like wood effect here and that's why i kept rubbing it a little bit and just let it be the natural the better let's see if you can see the close up here there you go this one it's gonna be the wax crayon resist resist technique <laughs> um and while i was doing this my son sometimes crafts by my side and he said, okay, mama, why are you painting white on top of white? And I was explaining to him that I wanted the coffee to really pop from the page. And he said, nothing pops more than a rainbow. So he said, why don't you use color? It will pop more. It doesn't go with the paper collection or like the paper printables or the aging look I like from my papers. But yeah, why not use some color? So we did and it was really fun we ended up crafting afterwards um afterwards i'm gonna see if i can show you a video or maybe i'll upload it just a tiny little video but um we used color too and it was really fun um i'm gonna show you here we drew some leaves just random beachy kind of motif here this one is also going to be in the printables for you to use as you please just give me credit if you use my printables i mean they're for you they're for you and they're free i'm not asking you for anything other just to tell people that i did them and not take the credit for them i think that'll be nice <laughs> anyhow so we got green in the mixture and this is how they turned out i think they look really cool and if you also like them and liked my video 
please consider subscribing to it and like to the channel and hitting the little bell so that you don't miss another video or any of my future um, pattern papers and if you stuck so long with me then um, I am going to show you that I did a little doodle project on top of a book page and I arranged them so that you can also use them they're kind of like cutouts or you can make them into stickers if you like they're really fun to use it's just some botanicals and doodly botanicals they're nothing fancy but I wanted to say thank you to all of you for subscribing to my channel I passed the 500 um, subscribers mark and that's really big for me so here are my botanicals and I hope you enjoy them and thank you so much for subscribing and sticking around and hitting that like button and giving me all the support I'm actually doing this for you too so um, thanks for watching and see you later bye guys thanks